Hello Recumbent by Friends, in this case it's not a video dedicated to Recumbent but just a single speed bike. Let's say a common upright bike, but this is not a common bike, it is a quasi replica of the iconic Lotus 108. It is called the Rev 108, it's quite different. We have spoken about this bike in a video. What's the aim of this building? It's just to know what makes what. I love any kind of bike, I want just to know the position, the transmission, what makes uh, all these uh, changes on a bike. So the first test, uh, we are in Arona, very near to the Lake Maggiore, and uh, we met with a friend of mine, his name is Marco, the same as me, he's younger than me and he's a triathlon athlete, so very trained athlete. He has, of course, a TT bike, a very aero TT bike, very good performance bike. Our bikes are very similar, even though he has a common transmission and I have a single speed transmission. As you see, we are speeding 38 km per hour with uh, nearly 300 watts. The speed uh, gains speed <laughs> till we reach 45, 43 km per hour. I am in his uh, slipstream, so I have, I have some uh, slight advantage at the moment, but since uh, I push uh, the power on the cranks, as you see, we reach the 50 km per hour. So it's very easy to gain speed, it's very easy to have uh, a speed very near to my, let's say, recumbent bike, the Rev I, the I Rev, so it is a recumbent not so fast, it is made for the mountains, but um, it is a good bike, of course. So the conclusion is that uh, this uh, Rev 108 is very, has a very good speed and a super good transmission. Here is another comparison. My feelings on this bike are that you can produce a lot of power and you suffer with your heart. You do not suffer a lot with your legs. So legs just spin around and uh, you see very high values as for power on the cranks, but you don't feel the pain on your legs. Just what makes the difference is your heart in this case. But if you see values are very good, are better than on the recommend bike. This is very, very clear. I have uh, less beat per minute, I have more power. In this case, there's a, a nice group of riders I have met on the road, just on the road. If you see, I am uh, reaching 600 watts, that are uh, a, a lot, and these riders are very young. I'm not as young as, the, as them. So, in this case, the comparison is, is uh, that bike, that common bike, with a common transmission, with a common aerodynamic, with no very high profile wheels, are not, definitely not as good as the Lotus 108 replica, it's not uh, the same. As you see, I can stay at the back, of course, of the group, but uh, in any case, I can, uh, I can go as fast as them, even on, uh, let's say, some quiet uh, hills, some, quite, some very low uh, slopes till 5-4%, so you see here we are getting faster and faster. In this case we cannot uh, make the race um, uh, go <laughs> till the end because uh, one of uh, their friends of this group uh, got a puncture, so yet they all had to stop. But uh, this confrontation, this performance testing was very nice to understand the performance of the bike. So the bike is fantastic, is so fast. But uh, there's a strange issue. I always thought it was uh, an iconic bike, so everyone on the road uh, would have met me and uh, asked something to, because they wanted to know what, what was the origin of this bike. In 1000 kilometers, no one asked me anything about it. I don't know if uh, uh, they are a little shy, I don't know if they uh, don't understand, they don't. I think they do not just watch. They are not bike lovers. Let's see this guy on the right. He doesn't see the bike. But I assure you, if you see this black carbon bike, 
and you are a bike lover you cannot take your eyes away from this bike it's not possible this is another issue if you got a four let's say four five percentage climb you got to stay out of the seat and push hard so on one on one side it is a very good performance training because you train for the power on your legs and so on on the other end of course it is a very high pain if you got a eight percentage slope so now i know what makes what in particular the transmission is fantastic a single speed transmission is something that is not comparable to any other transmission if you have any torsion on uh, on the chain and it's very good but the feeling the feeling you must uh, feel the feeling i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, see you on the next video ciao